morning today's webinar topic is a uh, business process model uh, that is the apn so here we have the expert mr sivesh nath mishra has the industry ex experience of 8 years and uh, he has worked previously in the samsung and now he is working in the telus international private limited and his package is around 26 lakh per annum so now he will guide us to how we can create any business uh, model on apn thank you everyone now he now the mr expert that uh, shivesh nath mishra will continue thank you ashish uh, thanks for introduction uh, my first question to you uh, to the student that we are uh, i am addressing do i have the students of third year fourth year or uh, no we have we have uh, third year and uh, final year students okay so good morning guys uh, i am shivesh what uh, ashish has introduced just now okay uh, so i will start directly with the topic that we are going to you know understand today uh, which is uh, business process management so once you are in the market uh, there are you know a lot of things that you will uh, face there are lot of challenges a uh, lot of coding uh, skills that you require once you join the market but one thing that comes in the market a uh, very quick and uh, you know as a reversionary skill which is a uh, bpm which is uh, business process management so any business that uh, that you are going to support uh, whether it's in traveling domain whether it is in the health domain so there are a lot of software that you uh, look into the market like uh, fractal in health domain there are uh, car view in the uh, travel domain there are a lot of uh, you know softwares are in uh, uh, retail domain so uh, all those businesses need their support to the to their uh, system uh, let's say uh, why we come with the software thing because we have we need something like uh, things to be fast things to be accurate so for example i am in samsung and i just want to track the employees record you if you are creating a website or, or a, the what is the business of your call and of the right admission of the students to uh, result in announcement and there are a lot of lot of things that that your college adhere to so this is business of your college and that the process there are the processes that uh, Uh, that the college follow their admission processes, their library processes, there are uh, different different processes for different different things that uh, happens in your college. The same way in a company like uh, Samsung, where uh, sales is the primary thing, there is a process. They are, they have their business, they have their process that uh, staff uh, joins in the morning with their attendance or a leave, and then he goes to the. Uh, there are a lot of uh, things. that is to be uh, performed by him let's say if he is a sales person he had to attend some trainings he had to uh, meet some uh, dealers or the distributors and uh, ultimately they have to report their uh, managers about their uh, the total you know work or the sale that they are uh, doing on the particular day so so these are the things that uh, a business has a process so this process are you know little bit complicated but it should be very smoother when you are uh, doing the software things you are creating a software so there are lot of languages that you know that we uh, do for creating the software that uh, some of you have uh, taken the trainings as well like uh, java c sharp there there are you know traditional languages that we have uh, in the market but now the time comes with the uh, no, no, new you know uh, uh, how which is low code no code low is uh, the less code and the less chances of uh, you know uh, errors and the chances of accuracy is higher 
so once we come with the low code and supporting to the bpm supporting to business process management we have a lot of you new know, tools that support bpm and uh, development of uh, bpm for a particular company uh, all of you have uh, uh, learned uh, or heard about the uh, rpa robotic process automation all of you have uh, heard about the salesforce all of you have uh, heard about a lot of bpm tools one of them is appian appian is new to new to the market uh, i have opened the screen for the appian uh, description uh, there is site which is uh, appian.com you can go there and uh, think about these things so what basically appian is appian has a predefined you know objects like uh, in your c sharp on your uh, any programming language that you you use class and objects and then uh, you just use their methods uh, for example let's say i'm telling you to make a, uh, a palindrome or 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 a just just join uh, two strings so once if you have not dot join function let's say we have join function and we can use it easily to join those two strings if if we don't have that then suppose how will you achieve it you will have to uh, you know write the code about the joining using arrays and then joining those arrays and then there is a you know uh, the, the code the code you are writing it will be heavy it will be uh, more you know uh, error prone because if you are write 10 lines code that it will take more effort more chances of error then microsoft comes with a method which is join and then you use it very easily and it it is low code then then code is going to be very low and uh, the error chances of error is uh, you know uh, very less if you are using a string join join to add to a string the same way appian comes with a lot of objects the or a lot of modular things that you can use easily and uh, you know uh, the chances of error these, these things are very you know uh, already tested in the market so you can use it very easily and uh, uh, and the speed of your work will obviously very uh, will be improved very, very obviously so uh, the all the and for example i am working on a uh, thing for a for you for example the uh, telus international is working in a uh, telecom domain we have a lot of things that we go, are going to support our business uh for example uh, right from the tower ins installation there are like lot of things that uh, we install in tower in different different uh, areas uh, what are the requirement are there uh, what is the performance of the tower there are lot of things in, in certain you know certain parts of the world around the world so now this process for this particular process we are creating this uh, software this particular process need a lot of coding if you are going to write the code but using the appian as the prescribed by uh, customer itself that okay you can use appian so that uh, we can get the things done in a quicker time we are using appian so uh, it is not that small thing that i can uh, explain you in a half hour, half an hour session but if you are interested in that that okay uh, let me uh, you know let me see the approach of uh, low code then you can must you must you know uh, look into the appian things uh, that will be very interesting to us because we are in a revolutionary phase of the market and we are moving towards the low code no code approach appian is one of the biggest tool that we can use in uh, this uh, scenario or the, in this area uh, so uh, first thing that i uh, told you is appian.com from where you can get the uh, things uh, the knowledge about the appian you can also google bpm business process management just because of uh, understanding those tools what business means what process means what management means and then we will move toward the appian community all the things that uh, we need will uh, we will get here so there are different different roles if you are joining a industry that that you will uh, join for sure do you have different different roles uh, you will be a leader you, you can be a planner you can be a developer you can be an administrator so what appian does just because of your role just because of your role it is uh, you know modifying the things for you 
if you are a manager then you will not go into that code that what is the code written or what what you are doing for that if you are an administrator then you will not look into the uh, management thing then how process will manage or how process will uh, be you know uh, changed or how process will work it will just go into the site and it will look into the ch changes that he can make for example if he has to allow a role to a particular person if he has to uh, add a new member to the uh, site or the community so there are certain roles and if you are a leader then leader is obviously uh, a developer as well but a uh, managing a team with multiple persons so there are different different roles there are different different unit you know, uh, dignified things and the appian has already you know done those things to us but uh, we will start with a builder program so there are a lot of things to be uh, learned in the builder program as a software engineer so if you want to be an appian developer and you are a technical resource you will go for the builder things if you will go for the appian and then uh, in appian community you will go learn and then for builder so they are very small 80 hours course uh, you can uh, go there and you can you know register yourself and then you can get 80 hours course here and you can understand those things so uh, for now what i have conveyed you just summarizing the things just because of uh, the uh, understanding of yourself so what we have discussed till now uh, we are going to be in market with a business process management things so business process management is a new concept which comes in the market to support different different business in different different areas all those business processes are required low code approach just because there are a lot of coding that is required if you are going for a big business uh, you know a vast business that that is not a small website and the things that uh, you are using then you need a vast website and the chances of error increases when you write the code and the chances of and at the time the time is very important factor for that if you are using that approach writing the code then testing it and uh, then again uh, retesting it redeveloping it so it will go another a loop and an endless loop so what is the approach we are using it is automation or it is low code no code okay another thing i will uh, i am i have used a word automation i will go for that as well after this so what the industry requires industry requires the things to be uh, very automated and a very low code no code with less effort and less chances of error one of the tool that we are using in the market besides all the other tools like salesforce like uh, uh, you know uh, like rpa there are another tool which is appian which is going growing the market in a very fast manner which supports bpm so we are discussing the learning of bpm how we can learn appian tools so that we can develop those things easily with a low code no code approach however i will suggest as a developer or as a fresher that we are going into the market we must have a coding experience a good coding experience and a good coding sense and for that we need a good you know coding practices so the time that you are using and the time that you are uh, in the colleges in the third and fourth year you must have to focus on the coding yes market is moving toward low code but the coding sense is very much important ultimately you will work on the coding part maybe the code quality or the code effort is less just because of the bpm tools you have to uh, make less effort on your coding but you have a good sense of coding so i am not uh, you know uh, i will not suggest you to uh, just think bpm things and automatic automation things and not focusing on your basic codes so you must have the coding experience you must have the coding sense before entering to the low code community okay so for now if you have any question or i will move forward toward the course if you have any question then you can ask anybody
Hello, Sivesh sir. You can move forward. Okay. Thank you, Ashish. So, uh, till now you have understood the uh, business process management and the tool that I am using. Uh, we are using the market Appian. So, once you join the Appian community or register for them, then you have a lot of you know things that you will get into that. For first of the things that uh, you will uh, on, the, on the side of the course content, the, the, the very A level course that you are uh, getting here, just to go over those things in the introduction part. Uh, for example, if you are creating a website or, or, or you know, a, a web portal for your college, for example, if it is an administration section like uh, clerical section then you have a lot of users in the clerical section they are clerks they are accountants they are uh, examination uh, section and so those particular clerks doesn't need any contact with a librarian librarian is a library is a different section of that if you have exam section it is very different with the uh, practical that you are having in your college campuses so there is no co uh, contact between librarian and the uh, the bus administrator. So there are different different groups that are working in your college, and they they are different different roles as well. So now if you are going for the code thing, then you must write those things that okay, this is a group for administration, this is a group for accountancy, this is a group for libraries, and for this group particular group you have different different users with different different roles in library you have a librarian you have an assistant librarian in the clerk the admission section you have a clerk you have a superintendent you have an os and different different you know posts and they have different different rights as well so in the appian what it provides it has a facility to just add those things in a group they will just tell you okay write the name of a group and, write, and add the members in the group. I will manage the facility. I will manage those things whether these things are allowed to a particular user or not. And for a particular user in a group as well, if you are adding a library group and there are users in the library, then it will automatically handle those authorization things that, okay, this particular user is authorized for this particular thing or this is not authorized for this particular thing, right? So, uh, right from the first thing that uh, the, the, the lowest code that, that is very important in fact, which, which is authentication and authorization in your software, the first thing that comes into the APN with very less effort is manage users and groups. The users and the groups are classified with your input and they are automatically managed by the APN tool. The next thing that you know we are using very frequently with the interaction with the database with the code so once you are there in the database things and you you need to con contact those things to the uh, ui part you are generating the ui based on the database things and you want to insert update and save and all those things that you do right from the interaction with the database to the ui so these things also need a lot of coding. You all know, and you have uh, definitely done those those things. Again, Appian comes with those approach and just just tell me the name of the database. I will manage all the codes. I will manage the card operation. I will create, update, read, and delete all those things right from the database. Just you define that the model of the database, the model of the uh, object that you want to show your on your UI. And it will automatically create the UI as well. You don't need any design changes as well. It will automatically create the designs as well. I can show those things, but uh, it's a you know uh, copyright. Uh, I, I cannot show the project live, live live project that I can work because it's a company policy. I cannot share the project details to you. As you will see that there is no need of uh, writing the code even for design as well. It will automatically design the interface based on the database that you are using you just try just you just write okay is it a drop down field is it a, a text field is it a uh, you know label whatever it is just you are just define that okay this particular field will be a, a multi select drop down 
or this particular thing is a simple drop down or it is a text box it will automatically create the websites or the designs as well and then comes the expression part whatever you write whatever the queries that you write write for the database to fetch the data or there are a lot of joins on everything that you want to get it you write the sql queries you write a uh, lot of uh, stored position and all in appian you have a facility of expressions you can just write the expressions and and very simple things and it will take the all the input parameters from your website and it will work in the uh, you know database as expected that you require so there are a lot of lot of other things as well uh, there are a lot of uh, learning things like process modeling there are okay i will just go on process model as well it is very important so what process model basically is process model is uh, you just define a process that how it will work for example if uh, hr is hr interview is being happening in your college then there is a process that okay the the employee will submit a resume and then the candidate will submit a resume hr will assess it and then it will forward to the concerned uh, interviewee interview will interviewer will look into that if it if, if he selects it takes interview and if he select the member then the resume of the candidate will be stored in the database or if it rejects uh, then still the feedback will be given to the hr and then it will also save to the database the, the resume will be saved to the database as well so there is a process so for this process you have to define a you know appian provides a facility you just define a process just like the workflow diagram that you have seen or used and the dfd that there are a lot of uh, flow diagram that you are using appian also says that just show me the workflow how it will work Hello, sir. I think there is a network problem. So I, I am just informing the expert. Uh, just wait a minute. 